Hey there, it's Fernando from SST. We're at an exciting time of the year. People are planning on making their traveling arrangements to come to one of our 2017 tour events. Now, let's go over some tips and tricks so that you can travel in a seriously smart way. Number one, when you're packing your equipment, you're gonna wanna make sure to pack smartly. What do I mean? Well, a lot of you uh, may travel with uh, a carrying bag or a rolling bag. And what some people have done when we see them arrive at the events, whether they flew or whether they drove, they overstuff the bag. And that can cause damage to your equipment. Uh, we've seen screens be cracked. We've seen lids of the laptops be broken. Other things in the bag get broken. So that is pretty rough. Also, when you do go ahead and pack your laptop, make sure you actually turn the laptop off. Some of you think that just closing the lid will put it to sleep. It's the same thing as turning it off. No, it's not. If you if you put it to sleep, things are still running. And Or if you just set it down and it kind of suspends it, again, things are still running. Your laptop could overheat uh, in the carrying bag and be ruined. So make sure you don't, you don't want any surprises. Next, if you're organized and you get everything packed up, maybe you'll put it into the car. Uh, before you leave and it may sit in the car for a short period of time or a long period of time. You do not want to expose your biofeedback system to extreme temperatures. That can be bad. Uh, we had one gal show up at one of our events. She had left her equipment in the car overnight while she stayed at a hotel. When she got to our event, her LCD, the liquid crystal in her screen had completely frozen and cracked and that laptop was ruined. So be careful to not expose your equipment to extreme temperatures. Uh, for a prolonged length of time. Now, when you get to the airport, if you're traveling by airport, keep track of your stuff. Uh, from the time you leave your car to the time you get to your destination. Uh, I will tell you that Ron and I have traveled and we've parked our car in the overnight parking or the long-term parking, gotten on the van that takes you from the parking lot to the airport, and we've seen people grab the wrong luggage when they get off the van or when the driver sets it down at the curb and it's they realize it way too long later that they actually have the wrong bags and they have no idea how to get in touch with a person so make sure you have things on your bag that makes it stand out you'll see on mine they got a neat tag like this some people have done really colorful things uh, they've done bandanas you know make yours stand out next you want to make sure to bring your laptop and your device with you in your carry-on luggage that's not to say that maybe you want to leave your power cord or your harness or other things that go with your system, that can go into your checked luggage. But as far as going onto the airplane, I recommend that you bring your laptop with you and your biofeedback device. So whether you are traveling with just a regular laptop bag to carry your laptop in, or you've got a rolling laptop bag, then a lot of you that have been at any of our training events these last five, six years, you know I travel with a backpack and this is where I put my biofeedback device. Uh, actually, when I'm traveling on, on the, the for the tour, I'll have two devices in here and the projector. Uh, so that all fits in there. I recommend that you have it as part of your carry-on luggage because uh, if you were to check a laptop in or your device into your checked luggage, uh, odds are it may get damaged. So be very careful. Now, when you're going through TSA, they're gonna make you take your laptop out of the bag. What's TSA? TSA is going through security at the airport where you, you have to take your belts off and you take off your shoes and you might have to take certain things out of your bags. Well, when it comes to having a laptop, they will always make you take your laptop out of your bag and put it in its own bin to go down the conveyor. What I do when I travel with my laptop is my laptop is in a sleeve. So I'll take it out of the bag out of the sleeve and I'll put the sleeve into the bin then I'll put the laptop on top of it that way they can see that it's a laptop they've never made me turn it on uh, but that way it's on top of the sleeve so as it's going down the conveyor it's not getting shaken too really bad and so just that's a that's a good thing to keep in mind also when we travel I always keep my devices in uh, a protective sleeve and then I also make sure it's always in an anti-static bag. Every device that has ever shipped out of our building has always left in with either a pink anti-static bag or a silver 
anti-static bag. So it's very important when you travel with your equipment that it's in their anti-static bags to protect it from static shock. So I like to put it in there and then I like to put it inside the protective sleeve like that. I usually have the piece of foam that my Indigo sits on and the USB cord all sit in there. It keeps it nice and protected. And it's nice to just, I always take this out of my backpack and set it in the bin uh, with, with uh, whatever big electronics that I've got, like my projector or my other device, will go into the same bin. And I've never had a problem. The one time I did have a bad a problem was I didn't travel in a while with the tour and I had both devices and the projector and I just set this on the conveyor to go through secure, through the x-ray machine and there was just way too much electronics in my bag and they flagged it and they wanted to go through everything. So I realized from that point on, stop. <laughs> so I made sure to always take my devices out and put them in the bin. Again, when I put my devices uh, in the bin, I just leave them like this. They're in the, the, the protective sleeve that's in a static bag and they're safe to go through. I've never had a problem ever traveling in the United States with my device. However, I need to give you a couple of warnings. When you do go through TSA, through the security, don't joke around with the TSA guards. They are being very diligent in their jobs and they and they understandably don't really have a sense of humor. They might be nice and, and, and they might talk to you a little bit, but they have a very serious job. So don't joke around when they ask you, if they ask you, uh, I think I've only been ever asked once or twice what the device is and I tell them something nice and simple like this is a device that helps me sleep when I travel. They've never asked for more information. They're not going to ask you, oh, hey, where can I learn about that? I've never had that happen. Uh, you do not want to joke around. Heaven forbid you think you're being funny and you say something like it's a bomb. Uh, they will show you very fast how you are not very funny. So don't kid around about that. Now, when you're going through TSA through security, make sure to keep an eye on your stuff. You have to, to put things up in the bins and you're taking off your belt, you're taking off your shoes, taking off hats, jackets, and putting them in the bins. Uh, some of you may have seen what, what it's like when Ron and I travel, when we're going through TSA, we sometimes ha have about eight bins for each of us. And we have so many electronics that we have to put in, and we put into those things. Uh, the reason why is because everything goes through, they scan it and we can just pack it back in nice and neat. If you don't take stuff out, then there's just, again, way too many electronics in a bag, which prompts them to want to investigate, which can make your stay there at TSA be a lot longer. But if everything goes smooth, just keep an eye on your things. When you put things onto the conveyor belt in the beginning or the conveyor rollers, make sure you just keep an eye on your things. Uh, I've never seen anybody ever take anything, but who's to say it can't happen? Uh, there have been times where people have realized oh, you know what, I need. I forgot something, and they want to grab their bins, and then they might grab your bin on accident. So just make sure to keep an eye on your stuff. Um, also, when you're packing, rewind all the way to the beginning. Another surprise you don't want to have is one thing that happened to me. I was traveling, I had my backpack, and I didn't remember everything that I had, had in there. So I had had some of the sprays that I used for cleaning and for the conductive spray. Uh, that ended up they were too big so those got thrown away another time I had a, a Gerber multi-tool in my bag and that had been in there from when I had, uh, had just been in uh, not flying with my bag and that got confiscated so be really careful to go through all your luggage so that that uh, TSA doesn't find anything that you will not be given back so just be careful about that now when you go through TSA you you go through the x-ray machine or you go through the metal detector and your stuff is on the conveyor rollers going through the x-ray machine. Just keep an eye on your things when you get around because sometimes people are putting their belts back on, they're putting their shoes, their jackets, their hats back on, and they're starting to grab stuff out of the bins and they may accidentally grab something that's not theirs. Uh, or you may not grab all of your stuff because it was still uh, getting through the x-ray machine and it, they sometimes will go slow, back it up and go. So just be mindful, keep an eye on your stuff. Next, when you get to the gate, if you're flying, uh, the gate is where you sit while you're waiting to get on the plane. Uh, make sure to keep aware of all your belongings uh, because you don't want to accidentally uh, leave anything behind. One time when Ron and I were going out of the country, 
we were just sitting there at the gate waiting for our flight and he had uh, had his cell phone plugged into an outlet not right near him but the nearest outlet was a little bit away and then when we were packing up and getting ready to, to leave he had completely forgot that his phone was over there plugged in charging up and we left he never got that phone back so be mindful of whatever electronics or other personal items that you have with you at the gate now what can happen is sometimes planes can get very full very fast and they may announce no more carry-ons uh, to go into the overhead luggage so anything that is something like big like my rolling bag they may make you check that that it happens actually very often when you, when when i travel uh, so i have to put everything that i want into my backpack and the backpack will go underneath the seat in front of me because there's no more room in the overheads but sometimes even my backpack won't fit in the seat in front of me because it's a small plane. So the, again, the two things we recommend is making sure when you travel, if you can put your laptop into a sleeve, that it will protect it because when you're, it's just sitting on the floor in the seat in front of you, having a sleeve like this, how it's the neoprene, will kind of give it some insulation and then protection from the static shock that gets generated. Uh, the same thing if you have to actually have your device sitting on top of your laptop, having it in something like this will keep it protected. Well, those are some of the tips and tricks that we came up with and we hope you guys can travel safe. If you're watching this video after our tour has happened and you're coming to a, going into a different event or you're just traveling to go see a client in another town, I hope these uh, tips and tricks help you traveling safely, traveling smartly with your biofeedback system. This is Fernando from SST. Thanks and take care.